Hi, we will see about the histopathological changes in epithelial dysplasia. This is according to the WHO classification in the year 2017. So, the histopathological changes can be described under two headings as architectural changes and the cellular changes. First, let us see the architectural changes one by one. First one is the drop shaped retiridges. So, which is otherwise called as the bulbous retiridges. Then, there is going to be irregular stratification. That is, the epithelium has lost its stratification. The third one is the loss of polarity. That is, then it is the loss of cellular cohesion. That is, the cells are placed or the cells become distanced apart. They are no more in proper addition. Then the next feature is dyskeratosis. So there is going to be premature keratinization and also individual cell keratinization. Not, on, not uh, only at the superficial level but even at the retiridge level we can find the presence of epithelial pulse. Then it is the mitosis, about mitosis. There is going to be abnormal mitosis. That is mitosis will also be present at the basal level or at any level of the epithelium. And also there is going to be increase in the mitotic figures. At the cellular level if we see there is one feature of uh, describing the mitosis as atypical mitotic figure. Okay. There is also going to be the presence of atypical mitotic figures. The other cellular changes present is cellular pleomorphism. That is the cells can be of any shape not just the cuboidal and the polygonal shape. They can have any shape and they can also have any size. They can be in any size as anisocytosis. Similarly, the nucleus can also be of any shape and also can be of any size. And there is also going to be the presence of hyperchromatism. The nucleus will exhibit hyperchromatism and the nuclear cytoplasmic ratio if we see will be increased compared to the normal cell, epithelial cell and the nucleoli will be increased. So increased prominence of nucleoli and also as we saw before there is going to be the presence of atypical mitotic figures. To summarize there is going to be drop shaped reti ridges. There is going to be the presence of irregular stratification, loss of polarity, loss of cell cohesion and there is going to be dyskeratosis with premature keratinization and individual cell keratinization, presence of epithelial pearls at the levels of even reti ridges and abnormal and increase in the mitotic figures. Similarly, at the cellular level, there is going to be anisocytosis, anisonucleosis, there is going to be cellular pleomorphism, nuclear pleomorphism, hyperchromatism, increase in the nuclear cytoplasmic ratio, increase in the nucleoli number and size and also the presence of atypical mitotic figures. All together, around 17 changes will be appreciated. Thank you.